Hello, hello, my friend. How you doing, Max? Sorry, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you, Max. No worries. Don't worry. Jose, hello. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Jose. Hello. Hello. Tell me hello. We missed you yesterday. Sorry, I was kind of busy yesterday, but I'm here today. <laughs> got it. Got it. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. All day, you know, all day long, we were like, where's Delmi? Where's Delmi? Where's Delmi? Sorry, I couldn't. No, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. I'm just kidding. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. All right, we're gonna we're gonna give the rest of the class a little bit of time. Let's see. I do notice, Delmi, that you're not wearing glasses today. Yes, I just use my glasses sometimes. Okay. Sometimes I am on my computer. Okay. Wow, that, that must be nice. You know, for a really long time, I didn't want to put glasses on. And this year, I said, you know what, forget it. I'm going to get the glasses. And what <laughs> happened, th th you know what happened, Delmi? Now, I can't take them off. If I, can, if I take them off, I, you know, I start to do the whole squinting eye thing. So uh, good for you. Good for you that you can take them off. Jorge, hello. Hello, hello, George. Got you, got you. Hi. Okay. Nice to have you guys here. I believe they started, they sent messages in WhatsApp again. Did you guys receive any messages? I think it had to do with the certificate already. Like certificates and... Uh, let me see. Description. About the, yeah. Uh, I think they sent a reminder that it is on February 10th is the last day. And I believe that's I, going to be, oh my goodness, that's tomorrow. I sent everything today. Nice, nice. Well done, well done. All right. Um, somebody asked me about the certificate appearing on the page. So let me, let me take you there real quick. Let me go ahead and show it to you guys. Uh, here we go. While we wait for everybody, hopefully, right? Hopefully everybody. Maybe we can, let's see. So usually what happens, hello, Vanessa, welcome. Usually what happens is whenever you guys start in a course, do you guys see how this section tells me, hey, this course is ending in two weeks now. Remember that this date is false. This date is for admins. Our date is actually on the 18th. So February 18th is for the class. And February 23 is for the admins. So that's why you guys are able to see that now. To earn a certificate, you must complete all the requirements before this date. Now, if you guys were to complete them now, you guys should be able to see a blue bar that says to request your certificate or to be able to print it. I believe that yesterday and the day before, it wasn't ready yet because this message was not appearing yesterday. I saw this message start to appear today. So in case you guys need to request your certificate, you should be able to see it here. 
If you guys don't see it here, you guys can request it in WhatsApp or you can send an email to the admins and they will be able to help you with the certificate. Now, I wouldn't recommend for you guys to physically go to La Escalon to go pick them up because you can easily get them, print them out yourself and then kind of have it your, you know, however you want it. Um, what I did with one of mine was Ocupé del, del, del papel gruesecito eh, y le puse un, un listón como dorado, right? I really wanted to go out there. So I said, yeah, I felt really proud of that one. But but it's really up to you guys how you guys want to do it. Um, however, remember, the certificate will appear on this section or it could appear on the side as well. So ojo con eso, ojo con eso, everybody. Okay. Uh, we also, if we are able to get far enough on section three, we can also go into the midterm. And I think we can do a little bit of a review for that. And I was thinking that maybe we could do a little bit on the live worksheets uh, if, if we have the time. So hang in there, guys, hang in there. Uh, we are on week number three. We are on day number two. So we have two more days left of this week and one full week. So we could say that we have six days left. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. We're gonna be fine. No se preocupen, no se preocupen. It's okay, it's okay. Venga pa acá, venga pa acá. All right. Okay, everybody. Let's, let's do a quick touch up on the platform. Who remembers where we left off yesterday? Who can share? Where did we leave off? What were we talking about? Teacher. Yes, sir. Why do we have to be on the platform? Well, you know, to tell you the truth, Max, I want to say it's a reinforcement to ensure that you guys are able to go through the sections and then a little bit on the exercises themselves and to ensure the completion. Okay, so that don't when get you... me wrong. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, but I would like to, to be, I don't know, maybe having conversation about those topics but right right i completely yeah yeah I, i'm with you max i'm with you and so remember how we, we were going to incorporate the worksheets and the conversation exercises okay. so that's what we're that's what we're going to start to do this week and next week got you oh i got you buddy i got you all right Okay, Thanks. so no problem. So real quick, how do we do with the reading exercise? I think we got it. This one was incorrect. I believe we escalated it. Let me see. Yeah, this was the one that was wrong. Now we did manage to get some of the answers on here. However- I completed by the context. By Right, okay, all right. And then you were able to get it correct. All right, so the screenshot and the questions that are asked don't match. You're supposed to take the screenshot and read it and then go from there. So that one yeah. was not updated. Let me go ahead and go forward a little bit. And I think that was it. We start off on the midterms. Did we miss anything on the section? Did everybody? So let's touch up on that. Section one, did everybody complete the exercises? Maybe, kinda, yeah. Yes, teacher. Yeah. I'm gonna take silence as a yes. How about section two? Did everybody manage to complete section two? Did you guys have any questions about sections two? 
I already finished one, two, and three. One, two, and three. All right. Okay. So from sections three, I believe we were able to do the models, past models. We were able to do the knowledge check, which was 3.7, the lesson objective for 3.8, and then the vocabulary reaction. So let's quickly go into this one. Let's talk about it. And then we're gonna move into the life worksheet exercises that we have. So let's go ahead and do it that way. Let's go guys, let's see. Video is on. Let me go ahead and just make sure that we put the sound. And here we go. Good. Someone forgets your birthday. Learn the following now. Share with us how do you react when someone forgets your birthday. Learn the following nouns for discussing reactions. An assumption. A criticism. A demand. An excuse. A prediction. A suggestion. A suspicion. A warning. So, do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption. We won't tell them. <laughs> Announce for discussing reactions. An assumption. All right. So, let's talk about the reactions here. How do you react? And the, the initial question was... How do you react when, let's make it a little bit more personal. How do you react when your personal, well, let's see. How do you react when your significant other forgets your birthday? And let's go on by order of the screen. The screen is the master. Vanessa, how do you react when your significant other forgets your birthday? Has that ever happened? Mm, um, I don't know. Uh, I have to select one of the reactions. No, not necessarily. Like okay. maybe I, I'm feeling sad. Okay, okay. And so did you voice it out? Did you let your significant other know? Or did you just kind of remain in a sad mood the whole day? Uh, maybe my reaction is um, uh, maybe not, not to get very angry, but maybe give, give him signals that I am mad. <laughs> OK. So okay. maybe he can understand. I don't know. Okay. Give, give him signals that I am mad. A little bit of signals. Okay. All right. And mm -hmm. now, how many times has your significant other forgotten your birthday that you can remember? Uh, once. <laughs> Only once. That's good. All right. Was that that means Only that the once. signals <laughs> the signals work? All right. Good, <laughs> Vanessa. Yes. Thank. Thank you for that. Tell me, has your significant other ever forgotten your birthday? No, he has never forgot about my birthday. <laughs> he has never. Okay, all right. How about somebody that was close to you? I think the most closest to me, all of them remember my birthday. They all remember the birthday? They always you... send me some messages, call, they call me or they got to visit. My All right, okay. So now imagine somebody was to forget your birthday. How would you react? How do you think you would react? I think I won't be angry or kind of sad because I know that nowadays we have many things in our mind, so it could be. Okay, all right. We'll accept that, tell me. We'll accept that, nice. Yeah. Very, very ladylike. All right. All right, here we go. Max. Hi. Has anybody close to you 
ever forgotten your birthday? And how did you react or how would you react, you think? Maybe once or twice, but I don't feel sad or angry. I don't know. I believe that's more for a girl. But well, I no, will do the same it, in return. It, it, okay. All right. So you're, you would be... the same in return. You would be vengeful. You would take revenge. Yeah. All right. All right. I won't <laughs> spend... I won't spend... I, I will be happy because I won't spend money... The next time when, around. When their birthdays arrive. Oh, okay. All right. I get it. I get it. Okay, Max. All right. Thank you very much for sharing. Jarvin, has anybody forgotten your birthday? How did you react or how would you react if that was to happen? Hi, teacher. Uh, hello, in hello. my case, uh, never happened. But I always say the, my birthday is a common day. <laughs> okay. But, one, but once uh, my family didn't do anything. Oh. It, it was a big surprise for me. All right. Okay. So that was more of a surprise. But but you did, like, prior to your birthday, you did announce it. Like, oh, my goodness, my birthday is coming up. You know, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like that? Yes. All right. <laughs> now, there could have been something up right there, Jarvin. If they, if you, if you told them and and nothing still happened, mm, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to review. <laughs> we're gonna have to review. Yes. All right. Thank you very much, Jarvin. Thank you, Madeline. Has somebody Good close to? Teacher. Good evening. Has anybody close to you ever forgotten your birthday? And how did you react, or how would you react? Um, I I like when the people uh, remember my birthday, but when the my friends said uh, don't forget uh, uh, don't forget my birthday, I'm feeling bad in the in the in the, in a moment, but in later I think um, no I am happy I'm happy because I I my birthday um, I celebrate always. Um, I go to the church. I I go to my friends and I send a, a cake. But uh, I, it doesn't matter that people remember uh, my birthday. I I celebrate my birthday alone with uh, uh, my friends, and 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 I don't. And I don't tell my birthday is this is today. No, I I send a, a cake and I eat with them. No, uh, it's not. Okay. I I cannot confuse. All I right. Cannot, uh, you got it. Yeah, I, I understand. It's a complico. Complico. I. You don't come. You don't complicate yourself. Can, All right. I cannot, Myself. I like that, Madeline. You send the cake to. I like that. I like that. All right. Thank yes, you very my much. Thursday is in September. Remember all mm -hmm. my classmates. <laughs> it's in September 10th. <laughs> y nos vas a mandar pastel, Madeline. Oh, qué chivo. Yes, teacher también. Yes, of course. Right. I nice. celebrate. Always I celebrate with cake. Thank you very much, Madeline. Thank you for sharing. We'll we'll be waiting for that cake. All right, Jose. Can you hear me, Jose? Has anybody yes. forgotten yes. your birthday? How did you react or how would you react? <laughs> um, there are a saying that say that people make weddings, not get married, right? Right. So I I celebrate the birthday of all my family, but nobody celebrated mine because oh. they, they don't remember. I not tell them. <laughs> But you don't, what do you do? You you don't feel bad? You don't tell them anything? No, I, I feel good that nobody remember my birthday because I feel, <laughs> I don't know, rare because I always buy the cake or some gift for someone. I can imagine. Or I, I end up further, I say, happy birthday. I, I hear you. I hear you, Jose. 
<laughs> All right. Well, you know what? From now on, uh, we'll celebrate your birthday, Jose. I'll remember your birthday. I'll put okay. it some. I'll, I'll look for it right now. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> El teacher lo celebra. All right. Jorge. Teacher, I, I say, uh, you say, you say, it's my birthday to me. Happy birthday <laughs> to me. <laughs> it's better. I think I think it is. I, in, in the long run, it's a little bit easier. All right. All right, George, Jorge. Teacher, okay, a, a question. Yes, it's your, yes, ma'am. It's your birthday today? No. Is your birthday today? It is not today. My birthday is when in is June. Your birthday? My birthday is June 6th. In June. Mm -hmm. Terrible, terrible day. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> All right. George. Hello, teacher. Has anybody forgotten your birthday? And how did you react? Any anybody forget? Did uh, did yeah anybody? It could uh, be it could be a best friend, a wife. Uh, for me, it's uh, normally because I have a little family. Okay. And in in fact, on my Facebook, I delete my day of birthday. So that nobody knows, George. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know, you know, I, I, yeah. I, I, I did so because it, when the person is near to, is near to me, I believe it, uh, he recorded when is my birthday. Right. Yeah. Then, in, because I had a little family, uh, I celebrated my birthday with a small dinner with my family. My mm -hmm. wife, my wife, my daughters too. And in my work, and my boss, he says me, oh, happy birthday, George. And that's all. That's it. That, that's all it. right. George, my man. Now, what I started doing is I stopped. When I turned 35, I stopped reminding anybody that it was my birthday. And so now I don't know how old I am. So I like that strategy, George. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. <laughs> you don't remember. Did right. You? Exactly. No, I, I. you don't remember anymore. Like, if you stop <laughs> celebrating, Max, you will not remember how old you are. That's oh, a guarantee. Nice tip. Right? <laughs> All right. I remember that you mentioned that on one of the first classes we had. You said something about your age, but you never mentioned how old were you that is correct max that is correct and that's the way it's going to stay mira magia right and then you and see then me disappear when they disappear on the next class you said that we can um send go uh, right on whatsapp to you ever uh, at any time because you didn't sleep that is correct you're always up i am always up that is correct i have gotten to that point in life where I can't go to sleep, Max. I can't go to sleep. I'm curious. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you're a vampire or something. Yeah, that's you know, but you know, that's that's what happens. That's what happens. It'll it'll remain a secret. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's let's you're go. You're like a vampire. Imagine, oh my god, that would be so cool, man. That would be like the coolest Teacher. thing ever. Madeline, yes. I, I celebrate all the, the celebrate the students' birthdays. All my students, I yeah. celebrate the, the the students' birthday. That is a really good practice. Um, that's why we're gonna start to celebrate. Okay. And, I, and, I have, and I have 100 students. Jesus, that's a lot of students, Madeline. I celebrate. <laughs> That's a lot card, of birthday cakes. gift card. That's a lot of birthday cakes, Maddie. No, okay, no. Uh, I'll, only a message. Um, and I send a, a card. Only a piece of cake. Um, yeah, I, I have a list with a... With a no cake. Um, okay, no, no cake, cake, Maddie. No, mm. Only in a pish. <laughs> in a pish. Oh, I, pay, I pay in a pish. Uh, All right. Um, 
a cake and I yeah. send you happy birthday all my students. That's and yeah, have... that's a good practice. Don't give cakes to one or two students. Remember, o todos en la cama o todos en el suelo, Madeline. Everybody, everybody on the floor only, or everybody on the bed. Friends, only my friends, my students, no, because they are in, no, the, in the house. Many. That's too, it's too many. In yeah, yeah. Houses. I completely yeah. agree, Maddie. Good, good. That's a, that's a good exercise. All right, Jose, Jose, talk to me, hermano, sure. brother. Has anybody forgotten your birthday? How did you react? Yes, I, I think sometimes he, I feel a little disappointed. But, oh, all right. But I think it's normal because everyone we have responsibilities. And, right. But I don't care really. I, I, I try to, to have a normal day and, and just to celebrate with my closer friends or with my family but i that, know everyone uh, is is doing something every day and probably they forgot it but i don't really feel bad or sometimes a little disappointed for some of friends maybe but it's not really it. important you know what I, I i think that a little bit disappointed is okay right because we have a certain expectation. So if you feel disappointed, it's okay. Hang in there, Josue, hang in there. All right, let me see. Did did I skip Jose? I know I, I did, right? I covered Jose, okay. Bessie, hello, Bessie, hello. Is, is it Bessie? We are doing, if somebody forgot your birthday, how would you react? Hello, good evening, everyone. Hi, good evening, Bessie. Hello. I try that the people who I I need to remember my birthday never forget oh. the day. So you make sure so, that they don't forget. Yes. <laughs> and um, I start to celebrate uh, before. Okay. Right? So good. I have time to celebrate all September. Good, <laughs> good strategy, <laughs> good strategy. <laughs> because oh life, we have to celebrate the life. <laughs> that, is, that is correct, Bessie, that is good. So Bessie, so I take it your birthday is in September and you yes. celebrate the whole month. Exactly. Oh Me my too. goodness. Oh Me my too. goodness. I know the other I know. <laughs> Hello, me too in September. Bessie. I remember your birthday, Adeline. It's our birthday. I celebrate yes, I all the months, all the months. I, I, I will <laughs> celebrate. We will celebrate all the months. Okay. That's why I yes. don't feel terrible and I don't feel a bad or sad. Okay. Because I I have my, my strategic... <laughs> Uh, yeah, all month. Oh my goodness. Good for you, Bessie. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. All right, David. Hello, David. How you doing? Welcome, David. Hello. How you doing, David? Has your significant other ever forgotten your birthday? And how do you react? In my case, I... I am feeling, I don't know, normal because I don't celebrate birthday. Oh, uh, so okay. I, I can say um, every year people forget this date because I don't celebrate. So you're not too big on birthdays. How about you You are not a big, let's celebrate birthday present. Uh, like, a, like a person that celebrates no. birthdays, that's not you. No, no. In general, is there is there any sp a specific date that you do celebrate, like you personally? Mm, no, 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 no. How about an anniversary? Mm, no, no, no. 
All right. I'm just checking, David. I'm just checking. I'm just checking. All right. Okay. okay. <laughs> good, man. Good. No dates. No date is good. All right. We're going to finish it off with Raphael. Raphael, Raph, can you hear me okay? Hi, teacher. Yes, How's it I going? Can hear you, good, but good. I don't know if you can hear me. Oh, we can hear you. We can hear you today. We can hear you perfectly. Okay. Well, in my case, um, I don't get angry with people who forget my birthday because I consider that, well, you know, I have always had problems by remember by remembering dates so okay. that's why i don't get angry when someone forget my birthday and but my wife and my family um always remember my, my birthday okay and, and they have never missed it no no actually okay. they they always remember my birthday so all but right I forget uh theirs you forget theirs, <laughs> but they never forget yours. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, Raf, what if they were to forget your birthday? Do you think you there would be a reaction on your part? Oh, uh, if they forget my birthday? Yes, because they haven't they haven't forgotten um, so I, far. Uh -huh. But imagine yeah. they forget. Maybe. Yes, yes. Maybe it would seem rare for me because they have always celebrated my birthday. Um, but I think I wouldn't get angry because, as I told you before, I, I think that I forget um, their birthday. Okay. And that's why maybe I, I wouldn't get angry with them. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> we'll accept that as well. Raph, thank you very much. Okay. All right. So... We are discussing your reaction, right? And the question was, how would you react if somebody forgot your birthday? Now, for me personally, because, you know, I've gotten, I think I've gotten to a point where we don't really celebrate it that much. Um, I think somebody mentioned it already where there's a little bit, and there's a little bit of, um, you feel bad, right? But it's really short lived and then you kind of move on. And I think that's how it is nowadays. All right. So I think we're all in the same boat with that. Right? Uh, nobody really got angry. I didn't hear anybody. Iris, hello, Iris. Welcome. I just saw you pump in. Good evening, teacher. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Iris, we were sharing we were sharing reactions. How would you react if your significant other forgot your birthday? How would you react? Oh, How do you think you would react? Has that ever happened to yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. The the last birthday for me, I I feel a little sad because uh, everyone okay. remember my my birthday and the team and the work and my friends and my mom, everyone. But my sons forgot my birthday. Oh and then no no no. I no, I really no. I really feel a little sad for that. I could imagine. But I think this react is common in the young people. Okay, um, okay. After they are, um, apologize with me and, and give me something, but it's not the same because I, I wait the, the day. You know? Ya no cuenta. But I, yeah, I understand because I, I was a teenager too and the and things is not... Um, important sometimes for for the young people i i completely understand it's here yes Adam. I, it's a message for iris iris i wish you all the best in your birthday okay okay i wish <laughs> All the best. We want <laughs> cake. We want cake, Marilyn. I don't want that. I yeah. want a cake. Without cake is not, not birthday. I want cake. All oh, right. Yes. I will send the cake. <laughs> yes. She Thank is you. my friend. Thank you very much, Iris. Thank you for sharing. All right. So since we are talking about reaction, the second portion of the video talks about uh, the different ways that you can react okay you can react with an assumption 
you can react uh, with criticism, you can react with a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, suspicion, and warning. And so then you got you have the examples, right? If we're talking about assumption, if you do it again, you'll have to find a new girlfriend. Criticism, right? I bet you were out with another woman. You can be so inconsiderate. You'll probably forget our anniversary too. Now you have to take me out to dinner twice. You must have wanted to break up with me. You know you ought to buy me flowers. It's okay. You must feel really sorry. All right. These are all examples of ways that you can react. Now, these examples are, as you guys can see, if your significant other does something. Uh, if your significant other doesn't pick up her phone or his phone when you call him, you know, what happened? If you're, if you're always on your phone, how come you didn't pick up when I called you? And then so here we start with the reactions, right? And these are examples of those reactions. So now the question come back to you guys. How would you react or how do you react if you call your significant other and they don't pick up the phone? What is the first thing that comes into your, you know, your, your, your mind and your body and how do you react to that? Now we can use the examples here in the different reactions. Has that ever happened to you? And do any of these reactions meet the way that you reacted? I mean, let's go from the bottom to top now. I'm not sure for... Uh, Iris? I'm not sure. And I understand the the, the reaction, uh, assumptions or criticism. But in your in your case, in your in your example, I always think uh, like me because I'm busy and I can't. It's not for. Um, it's for not that, that you. Uh, it's not that you were with another man. I, you see this one here. You see B. I, yeah, bet, I, I, I bet you were with another, well, in, in this particular case, right, it would be, I bet you were with another man. <laughs> but, and, and so I understand what you're saying, right? You have, <laughs> you live a very busy lifestyle. And so you are busy with things. Yeah. And so when somebody calls you, you can always pick up. Yes. Right? Okay. So, yes. you know, your significant other should be able to understand that. And so I don't think that he would tell you something like this. I don't think that your significant other would tell you something like this, right? So I I I, I see how, I see what you're saying. How it doesn't fit. I, I don't see any here. Uh, you know, you want to buy me flowers? No, none of these. These are pretty angry reactions. These are like a little. I, I don't. I, Maybe the, the letter B teacher can be a uh, suspicion. Le letter B could be suspicion. Yeah, you know, I bet you were with another woman. Yeah, that that yeah, you're suspicious of that person. Okay, yeah, we can. Do it. So I'm thinking that this this exercise must have needed for us to click on. For example, if we said suspicion we were supposed to tie it into the example. So that's a good one. I bet you were out with another woman. All right. So uh, these are the different that's types of reactions. Assumption. In the no assumption, it could also maybe be an assumption. an assumption. An assumption would be that yeah, you, like, yeah, it could be. you can be so inconsiderate. Which one? The, I bet you were with another woman? That's an assumption? I think bit. it would be an assumption because, bet you for were example, if you have not doing, done a thing, 
it could be an assumption. Okay. It depends on the point of view. It depends on the point of view. Assumption. It also sounds like suspicion. It, it, those are very close together. All right. Okay. All right. So now with this exercise, they show the reaction. They talk about some of the examples. The, the examples and I think that's 3.9. And then I believe here they are. Uh, I think somebody put it. Vanessa, Vanessa put it. So now with the vocabulary exercise, I believe this one, you guys can pretty much take over it and maybe we can go over it tomorrow and start here and then jump into the midterm. Uh, we'll leave it at that at this point. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the live worksheet exercises, okay? So keep this one in mind. Try to get to the vocabulary exercise, try to complete it, and then tomorrow we can review it, all right? All right, so let's switch over to the live worksheets. Has any of you gone to the website and done any of these? If you haven't, it's okay, right? If you have, good for you. Okay. I gave you the life worksheets and you can visit them at any time. And what you need to do is as soon as the worksheet comes in, you can type in whatever it is that you're looking for and you're gonna get a list of worksheets that you can use. In this particular case, I believe uh, one of the modules that we were looking at was the past models. Do you guys remember that? Where we used must have, may or might, could or couldn't have. You guys recall that? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So the exercise for us is pretty much so. Somebody I think also asked, when do you use the different versions? When can I use must? When can I use my, may or when can I use might? So this one helps out a little bit more because this one says if you draw a logical conclusion or if you're using logical conclusions then you could use something like must have been or must have, okay? If you are expressing a possibility, you can say things like may, might, or could have as well. If you wanna express impossibility or disbelief, you, you don't believe it, you could use couldn't have. And if you want to express regret, you could use should have or shouldn't have. And so that's that's the way that you see it. That's the way that you work it. And, and, and I found this one in the life worksheet. And as you guys can see, it gives you a pretty good idea of when to use what. So based on that, let me go ahead and go to the section A, where you choose the correct alternative. Which one should you use? And then we get to select it and then we'll check it out at the end, okay? So who wants to help me with number one? Any volunteers to read it? Rafael. Rafael, Rafael can you please read number one and tell me which one should we use? Yes, it would be shouldn't. We shouldn't have parked our car here. Now we don't know what it is. We shouldn't have parked our car here. No, now we don't know where it is. Okay, all right. Who wants to help me with number two? Number two, volunteers. Mm, 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 mm. Volunteers. No, de arriba para abajo. De arriba. Dennis, welcome. De arriba para abajo. A ver, Vanessa, number two. Can you help me read that and then help me choose which one? Okay. 
uh, my sister might not or mustn't have liked her vacations. The hotel was so crowded and the food was too spicy. Spicy. Um, I think the correct is uh, mustn't. Mustn't. Okay, let's try it there. All right. Number three, Madeline. Okay, he must could have learned Portuguese when he was a child. He speaks it so from friendly, and Lou. I I think it's friendly. Wait, uh, friendly. Let's just, no, fluently. Fluently. There fluently. we go. You got it. You got uh, it. Teacher, uh, sorry, I have a question. Hold on, hold on, Rafael. Hold on. Madeline, do okay. we choose must or could? He could. He could. could. He could have learned. Okay, okay. I think. All right, all right. Let's leave could. Rafael, your question? Yeah, how do you learn, uh, for example, he speaks it so fluently or he speaks it and you make a pause or how do you do that? He speaks it so fluently. Okay. He, he so speaks it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you have to you have to pronounce the it. He speaks he speaks it so fluently. He speaks it. He speaks so it. fluently. Yeah. So, so fluently. You, now with time, Rafael, remember the linking? Yeah, what you do, yeah, there we go. He speaks it in one word, speaks it he so speaks fluently. It. There we go. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Number four. Number four. A ver, tell me, can you help me with number four? Considering that Daniel has never cheated on an exam before, he shouldn't or may not have been expelled. I I guess he's, he, he may not have been expelled, but I don't know the meaning of expelled. Eh, expulsado, like from school. You got kicked out of school, so he was expelled from school. Do you still believe that it's may not? I guess he shouldn't. He shouldn't. He shouldn't have been expelled. Okay. All right. Oh, we got it. All right. Going down the list here, number five, Iris. I'm so happy that you did very well on the exam. You must or should have studied a lot. Um, for me, it's, I am so happy you did very well on the exam. You must have studied a lot. You must have studied a lot. All right, okay. Okay, so keeping pretty much the same, we have another portion, which is to rewrite the following sentences, keeping the same meaning. So this is a little bit more challenging, but we can try a couple of these, right? It's possible the teacher saw me. How can we rewrite that? and keep the same meaning. The teacher would have seen me. The teacher? Must have seen me. Must have seen me. It's Might. possible. Or may. May? Or may, may. Let's may see. or so, may. So, hold Might. on. The teacher may have seen me or the teacher might oh, have. Yeah. might oh. have seen me what do you guys think it's possible that the teacher saw me oh. we're speaking about possibility so it has to be my yeah might or may. Okay. May might so, be cool. So how does how does it sound so far? The teacher might have seen me. Or the teacher 
may have seen me. It's possible. There is a possibility. Yeah. Could we use may, may could have, have seen me? Could have seen me. The teacher could have seen. Whoops, I put half again. Could have seen could me. Could have seen me. Could we use that? Maybe. We could use it, right? Maybe. So we could use either may, might. The absence is, is possible. Okay. okay. Now, which one of the three sounds the best? I think it could be might. <laughs> you guys want to go with might? The teacher may have seen me. Mm. May have seen me. Or, or teacher, uh, my is more informal or something like that or or we can use um three options might i don't know would be a little bit more possible remember how may is the lightest then there's might and then there is could <laughs> oh, okay. let's it's keep possible yeah, might. let's keep it in the middle, yeah, it in the middle. Might. Cool. let's let's yeah. do you guys do a teacher let, do you guys want to try the teacher may have seen me? May. May? All right, let's switch it to may. Let's see how that turns. Okay. It wasn't a good idea for you to tell her that story. It wasn't a good idea for you to tell her that story. You shouldn't. Shouldn't. Shouldn't have told her that story. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Have told her. shouldn't. You couldn't. You couldn't. You couldn't. Couldn't. Think because it's a, it was a, we're talking about ideas, right? It's, right, and it's a it, there's a regret. You couldn't buy that car. Well, the thing is that if you use couldn't, it's more of an impossibility. O sea, if you say couldn't, it was because monetarily you weren't able to afford it. You see how it's impossible for you to be able to buy it. You're broke, right? So you can use it that way or you think of it that way. In this particular case, we're feeling a little bit of regret. Oh my God, why did you tell her that story? Oh, it wasn't a good idea that you told her that story, right? It was so nasty. It wasn't a good idea for you to tell her that story. So in this, so in this one, you shouldn't have... Should, should, should uh, have. You shouldn't have told, told her tell that it. story. Whoop. Told her that story. Told. Yeah, told because her that you story. shouldn't because tell has to change. Tell you shouldn't tell. have past participle of right. Tell. You 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 wouldn't be able to say tell, tell here. Tell. You wouldn't be able to use tell here. You shouldn't have tell her that story. It wouldn't fit. We would have to change it. All right, so let's try these two. Let's try these two and see how that turns out. All right, guys, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's do the finish. Remember, you guys can go back and, oh, wait, I saw a red one. Did I see a red one? No. Yo, no, no, did we? No, I saw that page. No, we did. Page one. Well, when we had to do the rewrite, one and two, we got right. One and two, we got right. Um, from the choose the correct alternative, number three, I'm, I'm thinking that we chose. See, it goes back again to I don't remember what we chose. So that was wrong. That was wrong. Three, three and Someone four are wrong. Could. So this one is could. Yeah. Let's double check. So Must. this one could and sh so it would be could and may not. No, you see, shouldn't. Did no, I choose uh, the wrong one? The three, number three is most. I yeah, think. it's most. I, I guess we chose, we chose, we chose could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone said could and you. And I put could. Yeah. Uh -huh. Click on could. And then number four, I, I clicked on 
may not? See, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Shouldn't. You know, no, it, it should have been shooting, but it's saying that he may not have been expelled. Mm. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. That should not have, have to be been. May not. It has. Right? Right? I, hey, man, I'm, I'm with you guys. All right. So look, these are the, these are the these are the live worksheets, and these work perfectly. If you guys are feeling bored and if you guys want to do a little bit extra work, you guys can use some of these. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just to double check on the platform and your progress. Has anybody received the certificate yet, Rafael? I think you told me that you had finished. Yeah, but today I haven't had the opportunity to go to the platform and check the, if maybe I have the, the certificate. Okay, because today, this this started to pop up today. It wasn't there oh. yesterday. So today it started saying this. So more than likely, if you already qualify for your certificate, you should be able I to see a- I, I, I do too. So do me a favor, everybody, if you guys have finished and you need help because you or- don't have it Because you have to be, you have to be over 80%, I don't that, remember. That is correct, yeah, that's it, Max. As soon as you you're hit 80%- not, You're not you over 80%. No, no, I'm not. I am at, oh my God. 80%? No, no, en, estoy en 40. Pero gracias, gracias. All right, all right, everybody. So just just make sure you guys double check. 40% in total. 40%, yo sé, I know, I know. For, for shame. Da, y, con la, y, con, y con la cosita que dice shame, shame, con la campanita de Game of Thrones. All right, everybody. All right, I'm going to give you guys back a couple of minutes uh, for tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, what we're going to try to do at the very beginning, we're going to do breakout rooms in conversation practice. So try to try to try to get try to make it to class, um, you know, a little bit earlier so that maybe we get a little bit more time. Um, once again, right. If you can't, don't worry about it. But try, try, try to make it there. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful night. Thank you so much. And uh, for those of you who were um, pending uh, certain sections that were wrong, I have already escalated those. So hopefully, you know, they get back to me either tonight or tomorrow during the day. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night. Namaste. Bye -bye. Namaste. See you tomorrow. Good see you tomorrow. It's a pleasure to see you. Always Bye. a pleasure. Bye-bye. Yes, first and tell me.